What's up everybody, it's your boy Jamo Giants, and today I am making the best build in NBA 2K20. This is also a demigod Kobe build. 99% sure this will be my build for the start of NBA 2K20, so let's get right into it. So first off, you're going to pick the pie chart that is half shooting, half finishing. Okay, then you're going to pick the pie chart that looks like this. This is the physical profile pie chart. And now we're going to get into some attributes. Okay, so now if you look at these closely, you're going to see that you max out finishing except for post hook. You put an 83. The reason you do that is because you keep 21 finishing badges, but you don't actually waste attributes on post hook because you're not going to need that. Shooting you completely max out because otherwise you don't get 21 badges. Playmaking you max out everything except for pass accuracy as you put that at 80. And defending you can see what you do. So that is the attributes. Let's get into everything else. Okay, so you're going to make him 6'5". Even though Kobe is 6'6", six, six, you want it to feel like Kobe. So 6'5 is the best for that. 177 because you keep a certain amount of strength and acceleration and vertical. And least wingspan because you're shooting and your ball handling gets way better. You're also going to choose a shot creator takeover because that is the most like Kobe. So as you can see, you're going to be an offensive threat. I know it doesn't say Kobe, but if you look up builds that are Kobe, it is his exact build. So don't worry about that. Now badges are obviously very important considering you're a slashing sharp, so you're going to want to have gold acrobat, gold lob city finisher, gold giant slayer, you're going to want hall of fame slithery finisher, hall of fame consistent finisher, and hall of fame contact finisher. Now the reason you want all these badges, obviously you want to be able to finish at the rim, you want to be able to dunk, and you want to be able to catch lobs. And it doesn't matter how challenging the layup is, you want to be able to finish. That is why you have Acrobat. Consistent is just to help you make more. Contact, obviously, is for contact. Giant for shooting on bigger players. Lob City to catch lobs. And Solidity to avoid contact. Obviously, shooting badges are very important, as you are a sharp. So you're going to want Gold Catch and Shoot, Gold Deep Fades, Gold Quick Draw, Hall of Fame Deep Range Dead Eye, Hall of Fame Rage Extender, and Hall of Fame Difficult. So gold catch and shoot is self-explanatory, gold deep fades self-explanatory, gold quick draw is how fast your jump shot is this year, there's no more like meter on making jump shots so that's how it works, dead eye obviously you want to be able to shoot in people's faces, difficult obviously you want to be able to fade and range extender to shoot far. Okay so since this build is very balanced you also get a lot of playmaking badges, so you are going to want gold ankle breaker, gold downhill, gold handles for days, gold quick first step, Gold tight handles and silver unpluckable. Gold ankle breaker, obviously you want to break ankles, same with tight handles. Downhill gives you a speed boost. Handle for days, you want to be able to dribble for as long as possible. Quick first step gives you blow buys and unpluckable so that you don't get the ball stolen from you. And you only have one defensive badge, but I feel like Intimidator is the best badge to go with for defense. Obviously you're going to choose Kobe's jump shot and let's get into some gameplay. Okay, so I did do a live com, but I forgot to include my audio in the clips. So uh, just enjoy the music and enjoy the gameplay.
And as we come to the end of the game, my hopes and dreams get crushed by Curry never missing free throws. But I could have had a lot more clips for you guys if I wasn't getting double teamed literally the whole game. You know the build's good when you get double teamed from the start. As you can see, I finished with 58 points. I made a bunch of clutch shots at the end as you guys just watched. And uh, yeah, and overall, this build is insane. You guys are going to see some stats in a few seconds. I really like this build. I think it's really like the way Kobe plays. You can see I only I, I shot better than 50%, only missed two shots from three, made both free throws. Like, I did really good. Three assists, three rebounds, very much Kobe stats, I feel like, at least, in a five-minute game. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you are new. If you enjoy the 2K20 content, leave a comment. Tell me what build you want me to test out or make. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.